This might be a good time to explain what the proposal is and why it's such a focus in this class. That might also help you think about how the different assignments in the class fit together to make sure we understand the forest and the trees, so to speak. If I stick with that metaphor, the proposal is like the forest and the proposal prep assignments are like the trees. The quizzes, learning engagement, and application assignments provide the path to move through the trees. In other words, the proposals where all of the content and skills you're learning come together. So what is a research proposal? It's a plan for a new study, including how it relates to the previous research and how the study will be carried out. The proposal assignment will include an introduction section with a literature review and a method section with participants, materials, and procedure. The explanation of the textbook mentions anticipated results, but the assignment for class won't include that part. The proposal assignment is an opportunity for you to demonstrate the degree to which you've achieved the learning goals for the class. That's part of the reason the assignment's worth so many points. Aside from demonstrating what you've learned, practicing writing a proposal might come in handy in the future. There are two broad reasons we write a proposal when we aren't in a class, to request support and to request approval. If we're thinking about research, requests for approval can take a few forms. In some ways, the IRB process involves a proposal. If we're requesting access to a special group of participants, we may need to provide a proposal, and graduate programs often include a proposal stage for thesis and dissertations. Our proposal is a bit different than what you might do for those purposes, but it's intended to help you practice for those occasions while also providing an opportunity for you to get feedback on your work. We also write proposals, in one form or another, to request approval in other settings. You also don't have to be planning to do research or go to graduate school to benefit from thinking about how to write a proposal. You'll probably have situations where you need to request support or approval, and that'll require a similar process of presenting the logic and process, at least if you want your proposal to be supported. For example, if you work with an organization that wants to apply for a grant, the process is similar to writing a proposal to request support. If you want to make a change in a process or add a new program, you might also be asked to write a proposal that explains the reasoning and what would need to be done. In the research context, the structure of a proposal is pretty similar to a research report, but it's important to know the differences. One difference is grammatical. A proposal is written before we carry out the study, so it's written in the future tense, explaining what we will do. The report is past tense. Given that we're talking about what we will do, the content of the method section is also a little different. The proposal anticipates participant characteristics and procedure, while the report includes the actual characteristics and procedure. Along the same lines, the proposal does not include the results and discussion sections, since we don't have the data for those sections. You might be wondering why I'm bringing the proposal to your attention now. It's because we'll write the proposal itself in stages, in steps, starting with just the first paragraph and bring it all together at the end. You'll also write drafts of each section and receive feedback that you can use to revise the final version. You'll actually receive feedback on some parts of the introduction section three times between the different assignments. So the means of the forest is the proposal and the individual assignments are both the path through the forest and the trees within it. More literally speaking, the proposal will be a plan for a study so it represents several learning goals for this class. You might not do a formal research proposal in the future, but you'll probably do something similar. For research purposes, a proposal has sim several similarities with a research report, but understanding the differences is important. We'll learn about that as we work through the process of writing a proposal step by step.